Paragraph 6, Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church. 963. Since the Virgin Mary's role in the mystery of Christ and the Spirit has been treated, it is fitting now to consider her place in the mystery of the Church. The Virgin Mary is acknowledged and honored as being truly a mother of God and of the Redeemer. She is clearly the mother of the members of Christ, and she has by her charity joined in bringing about the birth of believers in the Church who are members of its head, Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church. 1. Mary's motherhood with regard to the Church, wholly united with her Son. 1. Mary's motherhood with regard to the Church, wholly united with her Son. 964. Mary's role in the Church is inseparable from her union with Christ and flows directly from it. This union of the Mother with the Son in the work of salvation is made manifest from the time of Christ's virginal conception up to his death. It is made manifest above all at the hour of his passion. Thus the Blessed Virgin advanced in her pilgrimage of faith and faithfully persevered in her union with her Son unto the cross. There she stood in keeping with the divine plan, enduring with her only begotten Son the intensity of his suffering, joining herself with his sacrifice in her mother's heart, and lovingly consenting to the immolation of this victim born of her, to be given by the same Christ Jesus dying on the cross as a mother to his disciple with these words, Woman, behold your Son. 965. After her son's ascension, Mary aided the beginnings of the church by her prayers. In her association with the apostles and several women, we also see Mary by her prayers, imploring the gift of the Spirit who had already overshadowed her in the Annunciation.